From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big Saturday afternoon on Afternoons LA Late. As the fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today heats up, the president, the Democrats in the House, and the Democrats in the Senate all want to give you a fourth stimulus check, a monthly stimulus check. And this week, the president anchored a major deal that pulls for stimulus over the finish line. We'll go over all the incredible details and go over what will be happening next week during the reconciliation process currently underway. Then we turn to fifth stimulus that got not one, not two, but three major developing details, all wonderful on Friday. Because fifth stimulus raises up your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rural benefits, and applies a new benchmark, which is inflation. And we learned that number may be a lot higher. And we learned there will be a fifth stimulus check. Oh, boy. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars you can get right now across the land. It's a big Saturday afternoon. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to all the details from the West Coast to the East Coast. From uh, Wall Street to Main Street, we have all the details. And they're starting right here, right now, on Afternoons LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Hope your Saturday is going beautifully. I'm excited you to joining me on this afternoon's broadcast here, direct from Santa Monica, California. How is the weather where you are this Saturday? And tell me where you're tuning in from. If you're watching this video, it may be airing in a different time slot because of outages here in Southern California today. So let's get to the wonderful details. But first, drop in the comments where you're watching from and how's the weather. It's expected to be incredibly sunny throughout the day today and this weekend here in Southern California. The fourth stimulus check heats up with a big, big surprise. As the President of the United States signed into law internationally on Friday, a major ancillary legislation that pulls for stimulus over the finish line. It's incredible big news. It's a major deal. I'll be going over all the details of it in this recording. We'll also be going over how much you get under the fourth stimulus check from those Democrats. Then in the fall, we have fifth stimulus that will have another stimulus check, but we'll also raise up your benefits. I'll explain all the details and what happened about that and the additional one billion dollars allocated to that program. Then in the middle of the recording, we'll be going over the thousands of dollars that you can get right now. I'm very excited for you. This is LA Light, the only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoon. Nux up after this show if everything's running on schedule, which it may not be. Is evenings LA Light in a mercurial day with a lot of power outages. But don't worry, because all the shows you love are in today's time slot, are in today's uh, schedule of shows, maybe just out of order. Then after that is evenings crypto and overnights crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's get into the details of that monthly fourth stimulus check from the House Democrats and the Senate Democrats starting right now. What's important to understand is that they both want to give you a monthly stimulus check, but the payouts and the time frames are slightly different. Let's look at them right now. Get ready to vote if you are watching the show when it airs. The House Democrats propose in their bill a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The senators, on the other hand, provide a stimulus check from July to December. When we go over to the payouts on a monthly basis, the House members provide in their bill $1,000 a month after the first month of $2,000. The senators, the amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this, wow, yes, per individual. That is 6,000, that is six months, $2,000, $12,000 over that six months per person, or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person. But let's go back to one factor of the House bill that may get modified. And that modification may come from this. 
pandemic plus one year. Legislative insiders believe that the pandemic may be over by the time the House votes. If that's the case, then the House bill would provide 12 months of stimulus checks, which is $13,000 over 12 months compared to this in the Senate. Over six months? Yes. Now vote. Jump into the live chat or into the pinned comments and vote Senator House. Senator House, which one do you like? And tell me how your weather is where you are and tell me where you're tuning in from. Let's go over all the details of what you need to know in this Force Stimulus Check in this extended broadcast of Afternoons L8 this Saturday afternoon. First, who gets a four stimulus check? Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a four stimulus check. So if you're a single individual, you get a four stimulus check, 75000 or less income. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get a four stimulus check from the Democrats, double it. The Democrats want to give a stimulus check to a household of four, so quadruple it. And the Democrats want to give a stimulus check to people on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, you get a four stimulus check. The four stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. The four stimulus check is not waivable, so don't wave at it. It won't wave back. <clears throat> Hi, Jack. Uh, it didn't wave back at me. How rude. <laughs> no, it's not a waivable check. It's a monthly check. It will not wave at you, and it's not waivable either. <laughs> Ah. And the fourth the stimulus check would be the same amount for all individuals the Democrats represent. They want the same stimulus check for adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else. Finally, the Democrats propose the fourth stimulus check would go to a final vote on July 4th, no later than July 4th. That means that you would get a fourth stimulus check in the month of July, for the month of July, in the month of August, for the month of August, and there you go. That is the first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in this extended afternoon's LA broadcast. Coming up in the second half is the major break of news about that big deal the president signed that was supposed to be signed after four stimulus. He got it signed before four stimulus on Friday to anchor it over the finish line. I have all the wonderful details on that and more. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video, which is fifth stimulus. And fifth stimulus yes, we'll have another stimulus check. I'll explain how that works. And we'll be going over what's bigger in fifth stimulus, which of course is that SSI and SSDI reform. We'll be going over also the big allocation of $1 billion, what's going on with that, and the incredible news about that inflationary benchmark. While the, C why the CPI, the Consumer Price Index on Thursday, signaled inflation may be heading very high. All really good news if you're on benefits. That's coming up in the second half of this video. But now let's turn to the big money you can get, moolah, and it starts right now. If you're new to this channel, L Light is about getting people money, not about tracking checks or giving news reports by script. Rather, I'm about getting people money. $25 million I got people for EIDL, EIDL loans at the start of the pandemic, saving their homes, saving their businesses, saving their employees' businesses, homes as well. Then in fall of 2020, people were not getting second stimulus, so I stepped up and got people a quarter million dollars of rent, utilities, and food. Well, we're back doing it as well. If you've gotten even a penny from this channel, drop in the live chat or in the comments what you've gotten because it inspires everyone else. And the first item is a fortune. It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities. And it's about $5,000 for rent, four to six months of rent. How do you get it? Get a pen and paper ready. Because I have a lot of money to get you in this recording and stay to the very end. So get that pen and paper ready or Crayola crown. But I'm wearing pink today, so uh, it may need to be a pink Crayola. <clears throat> And that those details are coming up in a second. But first, what you need to know is that every place has different eligibility. So I'm going to show you some places, and every place has different eligibility. So if you get a no, reach out to the next until you get a yes. Okay, you're almost ready. Let's get that pen, paper, or Crayola ready, and here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. And the key words you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You're also potentially going to say mortgage assistance because of COVID. You're not going to say words that they don't know. Like you're not going to say words that they never heard of. Like stimulus. Don't say stimulus. And don't say um, Kelly Dodd Leventhal. Because they won't know who that is either. Uh, but you know... <laughs> There we go. So that is how you get that rent, about $5,000 for rent. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got that money. Let's turn to the next pot of money, and it's absolutely wonderful, and it's SNAP. 
On Monday morning's Elite, one viewer jumped to the live chat and revealed she got nearly six to seven thousand dollars a year, five sixty a month, five seventy a month for this. It's wonderful. Congratulations to her. Congratulations also to to Linda Glenn who got it for herself, for her mom and her son, and to Gail who got it for herself. What is SNAP? It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to them to get that money. Next, how much does it pay? A fortune. It pays a fortune. A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So get that money. $16,000 for SNAP for a family of four in Hawaii, $5,000 for rent. We are killing it, and we are only 10 minutes into this video. Well, I got $5,000 more money for you right now. One of you got this $5,000. What is it? It is money coming back from the federal government, to, coming back from the states to you via the federal government. Let's go over the details. The federal government has identified states as overpaying you unemployment assistance, then asking you to return it back to them to, to computer error. Not your computer. Your computer works fine. <clears throat> it's their computer. Uh, just very antiquated. So uh, they have computer errors. And uh, they overpaid you, and they said pay the money back, and you did. Well, the federal government has stepped in and said, nope, that was your money to keep. It was not your problem that the state has bad computers. <laughs> keep the money. And now the federal government has ordered the money returned back to you. Wow. So one viewer got upwards of $5,000 for this. How do you get it? Reach out to your states, but it's automatic. Routing times are all different based upon different states. Some have started to pay the money back. Now, the next pot of money is just wonderful. Todd got it. Margaret got a view. A lot of viewers continue to get it. And what is it? It is money back from the federal government that you paid taxes on of your 2020 unemployment assistance. Let's go over how much you're going to get, when you're going to get it, how you're going to get it, and how to track it. First, how much you're going to get. If you had, let's say, $9,000 of total unemployment assistance, you paid to IRS your total five thousand dollar tax bill on that 2020 return of which four thousand dollars was your taxes on the unemployment assistance congratulations you're getting back four thousand dollars from irs next how in direct deposit if you have that set up on your direct on your tax return like cod did if you were this channel or in the mail then when month of June. Finally, can you track it? Yes, about 70% of the time you can track it. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, go in there and do a tracking and look and see, and you will see 70% of the time the taxes are in your file, the taxes you paid, and the refund check you're getting. Wow. Is anything better than that? There is. And it's the second half of our three-part update about your fourth stimulus check, and it starts right now. Let's understand right this moment where we are on the fourth stimulus and all the details. It is currently under reconciliation. It has been under reconciliation. The House Democrats want you to have a monthly stimulus check. The Senate Democrats want you to have a monthly stimulus check. The President's on board for a stimulus check. The reconciliation process will be done by July 4th, if not earlier, with that final vote. The Democratic leadership is all on board, including Joe Manchin, to pass the fourth stimulus. And the President of the United States signed a major legislation Friday, which anchors fourth stimulus over the finish line. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go over all those details, starting from where it started all the way up to the present. It started the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, when Leader Schumer confirmed not one, but three of the details I've been reporting on this channel exclusively. One that the final vote would be by July 4th. Schumer confirmed that now six time. Two, that the reconciliation process had already begun. Schumer confirmed that again. And number three, that the reconciliation process will not be held up for anything and will eventually pass this into law. Wow. Now, how do we get to that Schumer announcement? We got to it by a letter from Jalapal the author of that House monthly stimulus check. What's important about that Jalapal letter is not so much that Jalapal wrote a letter, but that it was co-signed by 12 House Democrats. But who are these 12 House Democrats? Well, they are among the 12, they're among the 100, who had previously also written the president a letter saying, when we go to do four stimulus, Mr. President, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Can we beat that? We can beat that. And we beat that with this letter, which surfaced about a week ago as well.
The letter is from seven House Democrats to the president directly. It says, when we do for stimulus, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there for you, Mr. President. Well, who are these people to say that? They're on the House subcommittee. That's solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks. Oh, my goodness. They wrote the first stimulus check. They wrote the second stimulus check. They wrote the third stimulus check. And now they say they're writing the fourth stimulus check. And later in this video, you're going to hear that they're also going to be writing the fifth stimulus check. Oh, my goodness. That's coming up in a second. Uh, well, who are these people? They are on that subcommittee that is solely and exclusively responsible for writing the stimulus check. Oh, my goodness. And what are they doing right now? We got confirmation in this week that they're currently marking up the bill. <sighs> marking up the bill? That means, yes, it means drafting the bill. Wow. Can we beat that? We can. And we beat that with the incredible news that came from the president on Friday. On Friday, the president signed into law an incredible ancillary legislation which anchors for stimulus over the finish line. Let me explain what it is by going back to that interesting date on a Tuesday where I said something wonderfully happened that was confusing, but that I had to slow it down and explain it to you. Let's go back. On that Tuesday, the President of the United States had thought, you know, I have an issue. And the issue is the following. I'm trying to raise the U.S. corporate tax rate under forced stimulus. And I'm worried if I raise the U.S. corporate tax rate, businesses may leave U.S. soils and go overseas, where the corporate tax rate is sometimes lower, called chase to the bottom or race to the bottom. So what did he do? He reached out to global leaders around the globe and asked, hey, let's raise the global minimum corporate tax rate so that a business, let's say, in New York would not move to France because it would not save them any money by raising this global minimum corporate tax rate. Well, the countries initially said yes, and to which the president reached out to his insiders and said, I like this. After, keyword after, after four stimulus has passed in July, after in, in August or September, I'm going to reach back to the G7 countries a month or two later after four stimulus has passed and have them sign into law this ancillary legislation. And after I do, then I'll be able to remove provisions of the four stimulus and drop the U.S. corporate tax rate lower. Wow. Now that's wonderful. But then what happened after that? Well, on a Friday, not this Friday, but the Friday before that, the President of the United States surprised everyone by announcing he's going to meet, be meeting with the G7 countries on Saturday, a week ago today. And I said, what? Stay tuned to Morning's Light, I said, because I'm going to go on live on air as soon as I hear the announcement. And then the announcement came last Monday, Saturday, that he had reached an agreement with the G7 countries to raise his global minimum corporate tax rate, and that he was signing into law in person on Friday, which was yesterday, and yesterday it happened. Yesterday, the President of the United States, in his first international trip, flew overseas to sign into law a higher global minimum corporate tax rate, which he said was critical for getting forced stimulus to the finish line. Now, by signing that before forced stimulus, not after, not two months after, but before, he's making forced stimulus easier to pass. Because now he's able to remove a lot of provisions from forced stimulus about the corporate tax rate he doesn't need anymore, because now they're signed into international law. Wow, now that is wonderful. Is there anything more wonderful than that? There is, and it's the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, or, util or homeowners assistance, reach out to the volunteers. They're salt of the earth. They embody the true Purple Power spirit. Their viewers just like you who have stepped forward to help you find that rent, utilities, and internet in case you've looked to get it and you can't get it. So don't sweat it. They are there to help you. Open the description to this video. Go down in the description. Find an emoji of a house. Next to it, it says community page. Click the link, and it sends you over to news.la.com forward slash community. There is the community page. Go down there and reach to the volunteers. They're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll help you get that rent and utilities. Here's a little bit about them. But first, coming up after the commercial break, is another big update, the third, about your four stimulus check of 2021 and a big update about Fistimos in this extended afternoon's LA broadcast this Saturday afternoon. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. 
That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA. It's a big Saturday afternoon, and I'm excited for you to join me. In the second half of this video, we go over more about the fourth stimulus check update of 2021. We'll be going over what's happening next week in the reconciliation process and all the details you need to know. Then we'll be turning also to fifth stimulus that raises your benefits up and also has another stimulus check. I'll be going over the details on that coming up as well. But first, subscribe. This is LLA. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Coming up tonight is Evenings LA, about two hours after this if everything goes on schedule. Followed by Overnight's Crypto and finally, Evenings Crypto, evenings crypto as well. Let's get right into Fifth Stimulus with a series of major things you need to know about Fifth Stimulus. Starting right off the bat, before we get into the details of Fifth Stimulus, let me go over all the breaking news. Number one, yes, there is going to be a fifth stimulus check we have learned. Those seven House Democrats who wrote the president a letter saying they're putting four stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package have also now signaled they're doing a fifth stimulus check. Viewers have asked, when would one happen and when would another happen? My understanding is that their mindset is Four stimulus would run for this year, and fifth stimulus would run for next year. Now, it's all it's all fluid. They could start fifth stimulus checks to start in January of 2022, or they could start them in July of 2022. But I think they really think they're going to start them in January 2022, because fifth stimulus starts to a, calls to a vote about October, November of this year. And, you know, 60 days out, they could just hold up the stimulus checks until they go out in January when fourth stimulus potentially run, ends, ends its run in December. That was the first item. Second, we also saw the incredible great news that the president dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration and Benefits Program this week in his new budget. Why? He wants to ensure that you get checks going forward faster, easier, more on time, and more diligently. If you've been with me for third stimulus, you saw all the debacle earlier this year. Why is Comerca by Direct Express Card not sending my third stimulus check? Why is it delayed? Why am I in the third wave? Why am I in the second wave? All that. It's trying to eliminate all that type of stuff so that the program moves faster, easier, that they have all that information, that databases. Because remember, if you're on benefits, you qualify for a four stimulus check, you qualify for a fifth stimulus check, and you also qualify for the benefits lift, which I'm about to go over in a second. Finally, we saw this week breaking news that impacts fifth stimulus, which is the consumer price index number released on Thursday. What is that number? It tracks where costs of goods are going. Are they going up? Yeah. How much are they going up? Well, the number released this Thursday represents the May 2021 number says, what were price of goods in the month of May? Well, the number absolutely went through the roof. It was the highest year-to-date gain from May of 2020 to May of 2021. The highest year-to-year year-to-year gain in nearly 30 years. 
What does that signal? It signals the inflation rate is going to go through the roof later this year in a temporary peak or spike. What Wall Street, the Federal Reserve, and my, myself all use the term transitory. It basically is a fancy word to say temporary. It goes all the way up, and then it comes back down. It's not going to be a permanently high spike. But it's critical for your first fifth stimulus by understanding it right now. Let me go over how this fifth stimulus works. First, they will remove the asset limit. Then they'll add a benefit limit higher, an inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over that calculation and understand how that works. First, fifth stimulus would first raise all everyone's benefits up. Who's everyone? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, your benefits would be raised up one big time right off the board. That one-time lift is then followed by applying the benchmark every December. This December would be the first application of the benchmark. What's the benchmark inflation? Currently, COLA, Elizabeth Warren with CPIE, her payouts would have been substantially lower than anything you're seeing under fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus pays a lot more money. So let's go over how this works. Raise you up under fifth stimulus. Then apply the benchmark. Let's say the inflation rate is 6%. Then you go up 6%, but not just next year. Lifetime. Yes, because the way a benchmark works is that once you step up, you never step down. Incredible news. Now, remember how we were talking about that peak, that temporary peak on inflation just a minute before? Well, you're going to have to really hope that if that inflationary transitory period, that temporary period where it goes to a big spike and then comes back down, that that spike is right around when they assess the benchmark in November or December. Because once you get that spike to lift up your benefits, you never step down. So let's say there's a spike at 10% inflation, and it's right when they apply your benefits, you'll be a plus 10% a lifetime. Oh boy. Even if the inflation rate drops down to 1% next year. Yes. So there you go. Then they're going to remove the asset cap under the fifth stimulus. So that would allow you to have more than $3,000 in your hand. Just a dynamic do stimulus checks. They're going to remove the income cap that prevents you from working and staying on benefits. It's going to go away. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, which penalizes people from becoming from being married and blocks them from getting married for fear of losing benefits. So viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and not fear loss of benefits. And there you go. That's your fifth stimulus package update of 2021. A lot of details. But guess what? Even in an extended broadcast like this, there's never enough time for me to go over everything that's in third stimulus for you, everything that's in fourth stimulus for you, and everything that's in fifth stimulus for you. Because it's important to know what the money is, and a lot of it's application-based. That's why it's good to become a member. Membership links are at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. By becoming a member, you're sent daily everything that breaks down in the third stimulus, the fourth stimulus, and fifth stimulus. And I particularly give you alerts and, and, and warnings as to when things are coming up due. For example, last month I gave a lot of tough love because the checks for the kids are coming up in the summer. And I said you had to do something by May. Well, that deadline's passed. Also, it's important to understand that third stimulus is different than fifth stimulus is different than fourth stimulus. So it's important to break everything out and understand where your money is. A lot of it's application-based. And unless you apply for it, you're not going to get that money. And most of the time, it's five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, a lot more than a stimulus check. And that brings us back now to fourth stimulus. This is what you need to know going into next week on fourth stimulus. The Democrats are purely aligned to pass fourth stimulus. They're currently in the reconciliation process. The reconciliation process ends uh, July 4th. The reconciliation process has both substantive and procedural steps of voting the Democrats in the House, the Democrats in the Senate, and the President all want you to have four stimulus checks. They're talking about month daily. And finally, the broadcast media is talking about this morning, noon, and night. In fact, they're signing the same articles and letters you see covered in this channel. The only people not talking about your stimulus checks are the people not giving it to you, the GOP and conservative media. Here's what you need to know going into Monday. Two things. One, you need to push. Two, 
you need to understand the procedural steps. Three, you just need to understand the fake narratives out there. Let's go over the second one first. There's a lot of voting steps, and there's nine of them. The first half are procedural, the second half are substantive. Let's go over each of them so you know what they are. Step one, the House subcommittee calls a procedural vote. Step two, the House floor calls a procedural vote. Step three, the Senate calls a procedural vote. Step four, the president signs a procedural bill. At this point, the tow truck has passed over the finish line. Time to go get the tow hitch, the substantive bill. Step five, the House subcommittee writes, which they're currently doing, marking up the bill, and votes on the substantive bill. They, at that point, can put the stump stimulus checks in there if they want. Step six, the House votes on the substantive bill. Step seven, and step eight, during a two-day votorama, the senators amend whatever is given to them, if they wish, from the House. So, if the House doesn't have stimulus checks in there, the senators can amend and add them in there. If it does have stimulus checks in there from the House, the senators can leave it alone or can amend the amounts or the details. And finally, step nine, the president signs it into law. There you go. Next, there's a lot of fake narratives out there. And on Friday and Thursday, I detailed a new protagonista and her telenovela. By all extended purposes, it's over. The telenovela was a one or two episode run on a cable access channel. <laughs> and at this point, it's not much of a news story anymore. But I want, I know how these people operate. And I want you to be prepared informationally for next week. I fully expect that the protagonista will be back trying to get publicity for herself. So I don't want you to think that what she's doing is much of anything. Let's recap. One, Joe Manchin has nothing to do with the protagonista or her efforts. Number two, the protagonista does not have the support of the Democrats, and the people she's talking to do not have the support of the Republicans. In fact, she's talking in a vacuum with retired, retiring, exiting former GOP members of the Senate. Really ridiculous, isn't it? Fourth, she's sending out pressers, press releases, saying she's doing these wonderful things, that she's getting agreement, when they're specifically saying that she has no agreement from anyone. She doesn't even have agreement from the people in the room, let alone the people of the two parties. Remember, the person at issue is Kristen Sinema. She's a Democrat. She does not have the support of any Democrats to be in that meeting. And the people she's meeting with from the Republican group have no support of the Republican leadership to be in that meeting. So what they're talking about is a vacuum. And to tell you the truth, it's sort of ridiculous. The president's overseas signing into law, international law, about the global minimum corporate tax rate to get forced stimulus over the finish line. So what is Christian Sinema doing? trying to pay for forced stimulus with gas taxes, your gasoline at the pump. Ridiculous. I mean, just really ridiculous. So going anywhere? No. Telenovela over? Yes. Available on Blu-ray or, or, or DVD? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. And probably not even available for download. So it's just, it's, it was a very short telenovela, but I expect it to get a, some more press releases next week. So be prepared for that. Finally, The Push. It's important for you to push. There was one person on Twitter and one and two people on in the comments on the channel on early mornings LA this morning who were absolutely wonderful. They were a little bit more emphatic in their words than I was because I'm trying to be polite. They said, folks, you need to be pushing. And you really do. Uh, you know, the, on, on, on social media, even though L8 has a quarter million followers or three quarter, or 300,000 followers, I don't know how many it is, uh, I, I still am able to see tweets. I'm still able to see when you tag L8. And you're not doing a lot of tweeting. You're not doing... Certain people are doing great jobs, but with, with viewership of this channel and the millions every day, I, I, we're seeing very little pushing. You need to push because this is the time to push. You don't need to be sitting back and saying, I'm really excited to get a check. I can't wait for it to land in my hand. I, I, I want to know what day it's landing in my hand. That's all donut talk. You need to be on social media. Hashtag Purple Power. Hashtag MSC. There is a lot of tough love, and tough love is right now. You need to push. Because you got to remember these legislators, if you don't recall, if you're new to this channel, let me, let me, re, let me recap these legislators in the last year. They've had laws that were passed that were supposed to give you money, and you never got the money because they never sent it to you. They've had bills that they never called to a vote. They've had proposals that they never reduced to a bill, 
And then they had ideas that they never even reduced to a proposal. So you can't take anything from granted for these people. And the time to push is when they're marking up a bill, not after the fact. You can't sit back and, and tune in on June 1st and July 1st saying, so what's going on? Wait, uh, uh, what? So you can't wait to the last second. Now, every step of this entire process is very important because the marking up the language in the House is important. If they get those if they get those provisions in at the House level, that's wonderful. Not to say they would, but they get those provisions in the House level, that's critical. But then you have to start be pushing with the senators because the senators can modify anything. They can modify for the good or they can modify for the negative. So you have to always be on top of it. You have to tag both Democratic House members and senator senate senate democrats as well call them up on the phone write them letters do don't be complacent don't be apathetic at the situation it's very important to push because that's how this channel has reached things this is that is how this channel has achieved things is pushing and with that i'm really excited for you to join me next on evenings ally we're gonna have a big show tonight so don't miss a single broadcast i know we may be out of order today because of power outages in Southern California, but don't worry, I'm delivering all the programming to you, at least potentially in different time slots this Saturday. So make sure you subscribe, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning. Thank you for the very nice comments, and stay valet for more.